Mr. John saw it! My name is Yuri. This is the story of Akane, my childhood friend. The story starts way back when we were in high school. Hey Yuri, guess what? What is it, Akane? <laughs> well, I... I slept over at his house yesterday. What? His house meaning... No, Mr. Hidagi's house? Yeah. Back then, Akane was in a secret relationship with Mr. Hidaki, the art teacher. A student and a teacher dating is a problem itself. But on top of that, Mr. Hidaki was married. He invited me over, which means he's serious about me, right? Gosh, it was so romantic. Akane, I know we said this so many times, but you should break up with him. I second that. You'll get kicked out of school if anybody finds out about you and Mr. Hinaki. Oh, that's not a problem. I don't care if I get kicked out or if my parents hate me. I'm fine as long as I'm with Mr. Hinaki. Can you see we're in love? <laughs> ah. uh, back then, Akane was crazy in love. Her head was up in the clouds. She was blinded by infatuation. On the way home. How can she be in love with such a pedophile? She is such an idiot. He could ruin her life. Do you think we should try something else and see if we can persuade her? Leave her be. She'll either get sick of it or he'll dump her like trash. So what if the school finds out? It'll teach her a good lesson on life. Okay. Akane. I hope she gets out of it before she gets seriously hurt. However, no matter how worried we were, it didn't stop Akane from dating Mr. Hidaki. They seem to get closer by the day. Eventually, Akane has to come to school for two days. I wonder if she's okay. Hey, Yuri! Did you hear about Akane? Huh? That idiot! She ran away with Mr. Hidagi! What? As it turns out, Mr. Hidagi disappeared at the same time Akane stopped coming to school. I heard through the grapevine that Akane left a letter for her parents. I don't know the details, but I was told of the letter explaining her disappearance with Mr. Hidagi. Gosh, I hope they're not committing suicide together. It's possible. We all saw how smitten she was. Oh my gosh! I should have forced Akane to break up with him! None of this is your fault, Yuri! Don't worry. Akane is stupid, but she would never kill herself. She's probably a stag now that she gets Mr. Hidegi all to herself. Yeah. We never found out what happened to Akane and Mr. Hidegi. She didn't come back, not even for graduation. Back to the present. Well, look, the water's so blue! The weather is perfect! I'm a sophomore at university now. My boyfriend Tokus and I decided to go on a trip to Okinawa. Okay, here you go. Dig in. These are sea grapes. Enjoy! Yay, I love sea grapes! We don't see many sea grapes around where we live. Let me go get your goat sashimi and bitter melon stir fry. Okay! okay. Here is some water. Oh, thank you. Huh? What is it? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I think I know her. I swear I've seen her somewhere before. Huh? Oh! Akane! Huh? <gasps> I Yuri? Oh? Miss, how do you know Akane? Hey, Akane! Wait for me! Yuri? Yuri, what's going on? Akane! That was the first time I'd seen her in three years, and she disappeared. I see. That's why you were so surprised. Yeah, I didn't realize it was her at first since her skin was darker. I never imagined I would bump into her here. Excuse me. I just received a phone call from Akane. She wants to quit her job here. <gasps> oh no! I'm worried about her. She told me she doesn't have much money. What? She said that? Yes. Her husband sells pottery or something, but the business isn't going that well. Akane has to work all day to make money to live. Oh, Akane, how did her life turn out to be like this? But she ran away from me. That means she doesn't want to go back to her parents. What should I do, Tokusa? Do you think I should tell her parents I saw her here? Mm. I think her parents deserve to know their daughter is alive. They can decide what to do after that. If I was a parent, I'd be worried to death. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I'll call them once we get back home. Akane's parents still live near my parents, so I want to tell them I saw Akane in Okinawa. Thank you for letting us know, Yuri. Honey, we need to get to Okinawa as soon as possible. After that, I went back to my apartment. I didn't hear from Akane's parents for a while. About six months later. <coughs> Hello? Mom, what's up? Hi, Yuri. You're coming back home next Saturday, right? 
Yeah, that was the plan. I received a phone call from Akani's parents earlier. What? I found out Akani's parents found her, and they brought her back to their place. They wanted me to come over because there was something they wanted to talk about with me. Hmm. Akane's probably said I told her parents I saw her. Akane's house. Come in. Gosh, this is awkward. Um... I don't know how to thank you, Yuri. You're the reason we have Akane back. It's all thanks to you. Huh? Uh, well, I didn't do much. You saved my daughter, Yuri. Uh... Uh, Akane, are you angry with me? You. Huh? Thank you, Yuri. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. Akane. Akane kept weeping while she told me what she had been doing for the past four years. The first six months with Mr. Hideki were wonderful. They were very much in love. However, once they used up all of Mr. Hideki's savings, Akane had to start working to make money. She hadn't reported she moved to Okinawa, plus she was a minor. There weren't many job options for her. However, Mr. Hideki... I'm talented. My pottery will start selling soon. Would play with clay all day. He never worked. On top of that... Hmm... Now that we're in Okinawa, maybe I can try making glass art. Go make some money and make me an art studio, please. He relied on Akane to do all the work for him. But I couldn't go home after what I did, and I had no money to reserve a plane ticket. I ran away from you that night, but I kept hoping you would call my parents and let them know I was alive in Okinawa. I regret running out with Mr. Hinegi like I did. I should have listened to you. I shouldn't have wasted my time on that jerk. Akane. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Akane kept apologizing to all of us. She seemed to be full of remorse. I heard she also visited Mr. Hinegi's wife to apologize for her actions. <sighs> I can't say I don't hate you. That would be a lie. But Hideki is worse. He shouldn't have tricked you into running away with him. You were just a child. Promise me you'll be careful from now on. I will. I am so sorry for hurting you. Mr. Hideki's wife wasn't as harsh as we all thought she would be. She was more upset with her husband. As for Mr. Hideki, he had to compensate his wife for all he put her through. In the end, his wife threw him out of the house. Bummer. They should take away his teaching license! After that, I returned to my apartment. Akane decided to take online courses to get her high school diploma. She is restarting her life. I hope Akane lives the rest of her life happily. She'll be fine. She knows the risks of wrong decisions now. I guess so. Although she brought it upon herself, I feel sorry for her. She lost four years of her life because of one mistake. Now that she's taken a step forward, I'm hoping her life will make a turn for the better. As for that pedophile... <laughs> I hope he suffers for the rest of his life. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。恋は盲目と言いますし、好きな人と一緒にいられるならそれでいい。なんて気持ちになってしまうものなのだと思います。お互いが決めたことに止める権利は誰にもない。と、これは双方共に成人済みの大人である前提の話ですけど、今回は生徒と先生という間柄です。相手はまだ未成熟な子供なのですから、正しい道へと導くべき大人が何をしているんでしょうかね。何はともあれ、無事に親元に帰ること